For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot. Sniff up the man cheese as always. I got another preview video for you guys today for Man 25, where I'm going to give you guys the best sleeper teams to use in the game coming up. These are teams that are not quite elite. I already made a video about that. There's nine teams, in my opinion, that are truly elite. These are going to be teams that are missing something here or there, but ultimately they're going to be very good teams either to build in CFM or to use in uh, online head to head right away, uh, where you can basically overcome some of those bigger issues. So, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, I do preview videos like this in the offseason leading up to uh, College 25 and Madden 25. Please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the video. Now, this is in no particular order, but the Chicago Bears are one of the hottest teams that people are going to want to use based on the fact that they had the number one pick in Caleb Williams, and they went ahead and built around him very well with guys like DeAndre Swift, but they went and revamped the receiving core in a major way with guys like Keenan Allen uh, to pair with DJ Moore, and they also drafted Roma Dunze in the first round, giving you guys three really good receivers, and they also brought in Gerald Everett to pair with Cole Komet. Uh, the defense is really good, too. Hopefully they'll get a raise in ratings. They brought over Montez Sweat last year at the trade deadline. But Tremaine Edmonds is a very good linebacker. TJ Edwards is also. But their secondary is solid too. Jalen Johnson showing to be one of the best cornerbacks in the game. You have guys like Kevin Byard, who they brought over from the Eagles, who was with the Titans for a very long time too. To round out a very strong secondary with a guy like Jaquan Brisker. Next up, we got the Bengals. Now the Bengals would have been in the elite section if they had a little bit more talent around Joe Burrow. But they lost some running backs. Uh, Zach Moss they brought in is solid. I think Chase Brown's probably a better option because he's a little bit faster. They lost some receivers as well, but they still have Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, which is probably the best two on the team anyway. On defense, they still have one of the better pass rushers than Trey Henderson. Uh, and the linebacking room is not too great, with the exception of guys like Jermaine Pratt and Logan Wilson. That's pretty much all you need, though. You don't need a ton of linebackers, let's be honest. Most people run safeties anyway. The cornerbacking section is not too great, although they have one of the fastest cornerbacks in the game in DJ Turner, so he's going to be really good off of blitzes. Geno Stone they brought over from the Ravens. They should know all about him. Uh, they still have Daxon Hill, former first-round pick, is really fast, by the way, and Von Bell, and they drafted Jordan Battle, so they have a lot of really good safety options. Next up, we got the Bills, another team that last year would have been in the elite category, but they lost a lot of talent. Josh Allen still one of the best quarterbacks to use in the entire game, though, so he's going to make up for a lot of that. James Cook came on last year looking like a very good running back, and they also have one of the worst receiving cores in the game. Let's just be honest. They brought in Curtis Samuel, though, who's really fast with a 94 speed. Marcus Valdez-Scantling, who's also really fast with a, with a 94 speed. And KJ Hamler, who's got a 94 speed. So you can make a receiving core out of those guys. And you'll basically be looking like last year's Chiefs, only you won't have the same caliber of a tight end that they have with Travis Kelsey. You got Dawson Knox, who's still really good, and Don Kincaid, who had a really good rookie year. On the defense, they have some pretty good players uh, with Greg Rousseau and Von Miller, who's kind of getting up there in age, but they're still really strong. Ed Oliver, still a really good defensive tackle. At linebacker, they got one of the best linebackers in the game in Matt Milano, although he's not necessarily the fastest. The secondary is still pretty strong with Tayron Johnson, Razul Douglas, who once again isn't very fast. It's always something you got to worry about. But their safeties got a lot worse with both Jordan Porter and Mika Hyde uh, basically leaving a free agency. Next up, we got the Browns. We got the Sean Watson probably being the biggest eyesore on this roster since he's not very highly rated. But you also do have some really good running backs since Nick Chubb's real-life injury has nothing to do with what's going to be in the game. They still got really good receivers, too, with Amari Cooper. They brought in Jerry Judy with David Njoku being one of the best up-and-coming tight ends in the game. Uh, the offensive line is still really strong. But on defense, they brought in Zedaria Smith, who's a superstar, to put opposite Miles Garrett, who's one of the best players in the entire game. But they have a lot of speed at linebacker with guys like Devin Bush. Uh, Jordan Hicks is still pretty solid. And Owusu Koromoa, who's one of the best coverage linebackers in the entire game with one of the highest zone ratings. You also have a really good secondary with Denzel Ward, Greg Newsom, and Emerson making maybe the best three cornerback trio in the entire game with Juan Thornhill and Grant Delpit rounding out a very strong secondary. Next up, we got the Chargers, another team that has a great quarterback, but not a lot around him as they lost a lot. Uh, but Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins, to me, are fine. But the receiving core took a huge step back. Their best receiver right now is Joshua Palmer. But in Madden, it's probably going to be guys like DJ Chark, uh, Quentin Johnson, who's really tall, Lad McConkey, who is their second-round pick, and uh, Darius Davis gives them a lot of speed options. Uh, at the offensive line, they do have a really good left in uh, Rashawn Slater. Uh, but that's about it. They did draft Joe Alt, so... 
You should have a solid tackle tandem to hold the edge, which is probably the most important thing anyway. On defense, though, is where they're really missing a lot of guys. They have some good edge rushers in Joey Bosa and uh, Khalil Mack. A couple of decent cornerbacks, too, in Asante Samuel. Um, but obviously, what really sets them apart is their safeties with Derwin James, who's still one of the best safeties in the game at 6'2". Next up, we got the Falcons. They brought in Kirk Cousins, which is going to solidify this entire team. And you also got Michael Panix Jr. waiting in the wings, uh, which is going to be awesome for CFM, although I don't know if you're going to be able to use him right away uh, when it comes to playing online head-to-head. Bijan Robinson, one of the best running backs in the game. When you get to the receiving core, Drake London, solid. They brought over Rondell Moore from, I think, the Cardinals in a really uh, trade that wasn't talked about much, but he's really fast. Him and Daryl Mooney are going to add a lot of speed to this receiving core, which is really important. So you got three decent receivers there. Kyle Pitts was is the fourth receiver. You can play him outside. He's so fast. Offensive line's pretty solid, too, with guys like uh, Chris Lindstrom at guard. is one of the best guards in the game. Uh, when you get to the defensive line or the defensive side of the ball, though, it's really all about Grady Jarrett. And then you get to the secondary, and they do have some really good, talented players there with A.J. Terrell Jr., who's one of the best cornerbacks in the game, a superstar player. And Jesse Bates is probably the best safety in the entire game. Next up, we got the Packers, who for me was a team I almost put in the elite tier when I made the best teams video, uh, but they're just not quite there yet. Jordan Love, though, really good quarterback, probably get an X Factor or superstar ability pretty soon. Josh Jacobs already has one, and AJ Dillon, really good power back. They got really good running backs now, really good weapons in general, but none of them are elite. Uh, some really good speed guys, though, with guys like Christian Watson and Bo Melton, which make them, you know, that much better. J Jaden Reed and uh, Romeo Dobbs both showed that they deserve ratings boost, so you might have a really strong receiving core here. And then Luke Musgrave is one of the faster tight ends in the game. On the defensive line, they got guys like Kenny Clark who's still holding on a defensive um Still so the holding on defensive line. Uh, Rashawn Gary, who's got a superstar ability now. Quay Walker, who's really fast, really good linebacker, and Preston Smith. And then you got on cornerback Jail or Jair Alexander, who still has superstar ability. He's one of the best players in the game as far as cornerbacks are concerned. E uh, Eric Stokes, who still is a 95 speed, so you got plenty of speed on the back end. Xavier McKinney, they brought over from the Giants as one of the better safeties in the game. Next up, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers, who once again are on this list because they don't really have a quarterback in real, you know, in real life or in the game. I'm not really sure but Russell Wilson I don't think he really does much for me at this point in his career if this team is something you're using in a CFM Justin Fields is going to be great you can still build him up he still is one of the fastest quarterbacks in the entire game they still have really good running backs too with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren who got a big ratings boost uh George Pickens Calvin Austin I'll give you a pretty decent one-two punch although realistically if you look at just the speed of these guys Calvin Austin's 95 Quez Watkins 97 and Scott Miller is a 95 so you got three receivers only over 95 speed they got two good tight ends of pat fryer moved and darnell washington who i think was a high draft pick for them last year they drafted a left tackle in fondo in the first round they got Sayamalu off the eagles a couple years ago uh, to give them some good guys on the offensive line. Uh, Broderick Jones obviously was a first-round pick last year, so lots of talent to build on the offensive line. On the defensive side, Cameron Hayward still really good, a really good player. Uh, Keanu Benton was a good pick last year, although I don't know if he did a lot, but still some good players to build there. Uh, TJ Watt, really good edge rusher. Uh, Patrick Queen, they brought up from Baltimore. And Cole Holcomb uh, gave a really good two inside linebacker set, although Peyton Wilson here and uh, Kyron Johnson are looking like the fastest guys, so you can use them in a number of different ways. And Alex Highsmith, obviously off the edge, give them a really good front seven. But hey, that's Pittsburgh. What do you expect? Uh, in the secondary, Joey Porter had a really strong rookie year. And Deontay Jackson, they brought over from Carolina, who has a lot of speed. That's really, once again, the only thing that matters giving them a really good uh, cornerback tandem, in my opinion, with Minka Fitzpatrick being one of the best safeties in the league. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, like best teams to build in CFM or rebuild in CFM, please make sure to be subscribed to like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos that are already made about these type of topics, I'll have them popping up on screen, so just click the links. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.